Hi everyone, I'm Hans and I have a new USB power bank for the laptop project. So let's hook this one up and see if it performs better than the last one I had, which had some flaws in it that meant it wasn't suitable. Okay, so let's start by connecting a cable from the power bank to the power board that drives the motherboard and all the components inside the machine. And now connect up the LCD controller and panel. And now switch the machine on and see if it works. So far so good. You can see the LED indicating that the motherboard's on. But oh, the LCD panel is only briefly flashing, which means that the power bank, despite the fact that it can supply enough power, is not. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment. So I can't power the LCD panel from a separate output. Well, technically I can, but I just need additional external circuitry in order to get this thing to deliver enough power to run the LCD panel. So now it's back to the original USB cable that I used to power the LCD panel. And it should all work because this thing can deliver 100 watts on one output. That should be enough for the motherboard and everything, including the LCD panel. Let's try it and find out. Some disassembly required in order to replace the cable. So let's speed this up a bit. Once we can get at it, then we can replace the cable and put everything back together again. That's the LCD panel side done. Now the other side needs to be connected to an old drive connector on the ATX power supply. And then we can reassemble everything and test it. Wait for it, wait for it. And yes, we have a screen, a solid screen, no flashing. It's all working as it should. Great, so it's working. Um, and this power bank has the added advantage that you can plug in a 100 watt charger while you still have 100 watts out to the computer. Um, now let's go run some tests to see how much power the, the uh, laptop's actually using. At idle, it's using about 25 watts, which should give four hours of battery life. Uh, it could be using less, but Amiga OS does not have much in the way of power saving features, except for in the graphics card, which if we run the Cal 3D test, you will see it jumps up to 59 watts. So it's, it's powered up the, the GPU to the max. Finally, it drops down to 21 watts when it's at idle with the screen off. Again, it could be less, but we'd need more power features in the OS for that. Okay, so this battery pack is usable for the laptop, it's suitable. It does have a few drawbacks. Um, this one still, you cannot plug in USB and, and have the laptop read the battery status information, at least not yet. Uh, this thing is firmware upgradable, so that's a, it's something that they could add later should there be enough of us with a, a DIY laptop. The other thing that I've noticed is this, the, the electronics behind the LCD panel here, the power electronics, does seem to slowly drain the battery over time when it's not in use, which is uh, a bit unfortunate. Uh, it, it's still, it's, it's very slow though, so it's, it's not something I'm, it, it's not a deal breaker, let's put it that way. So I'm going to leave a link to this one below, full disclosure, that is an affiliate link. So if you do buy via that link, I get a small commission, which will help fund the laptop project. Um, reminder, if you have a battery pack, you will need a corresponding 100 watt uh, USB-C charger. Um, they have one. I would have bought, I would have bought one from them, but I already had this. Um, so I didn't bother. Uh, theoretically, any 100 watt USB-C charger should, should work, but just remember you need both. Otherwise you can't charge this and then you can't power your laptop. 
So up next after this, I have a small power board to make. I need to have an on off switch. And, and in particular, I don't want the, the power board that I plug into this to be further draining the battery while the laptop is switched off. I want to cut the power as much as possible. So I need a small board with an on off switch and a reset button. Um, that will switch the machine on and, and switch, the, switch the power and the machine on at the same time. And then beyond that, it's getting everything modeled in the CAD package and designing the actual case. So those things are still to come. And I'll let you know when I have more. Until then, see you later.